All right, so this honking, uh, honking beast is called a Yeti. And as you can, as you G.I. Joe fans will notice, it's made from a vintage 80s uh, avalanche, G.I. Joe avalanche. And it's basically just um, a military Arctic uh, utility vehicle. So it's good for a lot of different purposes. Um, it does have a gun. Now the gun has a dual, uh, dual purpose. It is both um, used for, you know, defending itself in case you run into Arctic bad guys and enemies. Uh, but also it can set off avalanches so that if you, speaking of avalanches, so that if you encounter an area of snow that needs an avalanche uh, to get the snow off so it won't collapse later, you can shoot it with this and the exploding bullets will knock the avalanche down. So what this is, this little radio thing, is it actually um, uh, uses sound to see uh, the density of ice. So basically uh, ice and snow. So if you need to know uh, how strong something is, um, you can shoot it uh, with that, um, and it will use uh, sonic waves to d determine how thick the ice is. This missile right here is shot vertically onto the ice to try to crack it, and uh, the sound waves from that are also detected by this. And um, that will let you know if the, the ice is okay to be crossed by vehicles or if it's not uh, strong enough to support vehicles. So that's what that missile is. And then it's got a wire connected to it, which you pull it back with, because it's obviously reusable. Um, this item has headlights, which is awesome. I love these little LED flares. You get them on like Amazon or eBay. They're little uh, flares that you shoot into the sky, but they're little uh, lights with batteries and a switch, all, com all completely designed for you, completed for you. So I use them for everything for my vehicles. I think they're great. And I can even solder uh, different colored lights onto them if I want to. And so I've done that for some of my vehicles like the uh, Viper. So it's piloted by this snow serpent that I got and customized. Um, he's chilling in there in his warm outfit. He's very warm. Right behind him, we have this uh, sensor device. And then behind the center device is the cabin. So the idea is that you can move from the cockpit to the cabin. And then the cabin has things in it like uh, utility supplies, a sleeping area, and things like that. Maybe a bathroom. <laughs> it's got a crane because you may need to um, uh, lift things and such when you're in the Arctic. Uh, and you can also attach this drill bit to the crane. Uh, and then it's got some supplies on the roof. And you can go on the roof if you want to, to like look out and stuff. And then it's got some little utility boxes, which you can look in things for. It's got an external control for the crane. It's got a little bucket that you can put uh, either things into like rocks and minerals, or you can lift the bucket with the crane. And then you can put a person in there if they need to go up on high. And you can use this vehicle for building uh, bases in the snow too. That's part of its uses for building bases. So the back, we have a door, which I used a Humvee, Armor Up Humvee uh, door for, and that's the door in and out of the cabin. And then there's a little uh, stairway, of course, because you gotta be able to get up there. Some supplies here. And then it's also got a, I guess it's called a backhoe, but anyway, uh, in case you need to dig a hole, you can dig a hole that way. Uh, it's got this so that if you need to, you can manually bring this thing in, but generally there's a motor that'll pull it in. It's got various uh, radio devices, so you can communicate with base or other vehicles. Uh, and rescue, and uh, another antenna, and some little uh, details. But I got this thing, this avalanche, and I was like, I, I think I got it cheap at a toy store. And so I was like, I think I could really do something cool with this, because it didn't look cool the way it was. It didn't have any of its parts. And sometimes G.I. Joe has some interesting design features, which I don't agree with. And some of them then wouldn't work in real life. Like, uh, for instance, the Tomahawk, why does it have t uh, dual rotors, but then it has a tail rotor? It doesn't need that. kind of bugs me. So I like realism in my projects, as you probably know. So here it is, the Yeti. Thank you.